In this video, I'm going to show you how to use call span to force table cells to span more than one column. And we're getting started right now. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. It's Bjorn from Higher Learning Lab, where we help you learn to code better so you can earn more for yourself, for your clients, and for your business. And if it's your first time here, hit the subscribe button, then hit the bell notification icon so you're notified when I publish more tutorials for you. With that out of the way, let's learn more about call span over in the screen capture. I'll see you there. Just as an example here, I have a basic HTML table created and we're gonna call span the entire top. I'm gonna to take out wind rating and sunshine and just call this whole top cell continent info, for example. So the way we do it, we're on the left-hand side, we're in the actual HTML markup. And all we do is we click into the table header tag for continent. It can also be a TD for just a regular table cell. But you click into a cell and you type in C-O-L-S-P-A-N equals open quotes and close quotes. And then we type in the number of cells we want to span. So in this case, you want to span three columns. So we type in the number three. And then we delete the other items in the table header or in that row. So we delete those, save this file, refresh this page, and we see that now this, the continent cell spans all three columns. However, there's something you might run into, especially if you're doing or working with really complicated tables, is if you don't delete the correct area. So we deleted these two table heading cells. If we didn't delete them, this is what would happen continent would still span those three columns and then wind rating and sunshine rating would just be tacked on at the end, which is a broken table. Now, if you have a really complicated table, you might see things like this happening throughout the table when you use call span and row span. So the problem is when you see that, there are cells that haven't been deleted that should be deleted for the call span to work properly. And unfortunately, because it's HTML, it's a lot of trial and error. You have to go through and, and see which parts are broken in the code. And there's really no easy way of doing it, especially if you have a really complicated table. That's all there is to call span. Hope this video helps you. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below the video. If you haven't done so yet, hit subscribe and hit the bell notification icon so you're notified when I publish more tutorials. And next up is click one of these videos that popped up on the right hand side so you can learn more about coding and get even better at it. And until next time, keep crushing it. And I will see you in the next video.